Hey, what's up? Allied here. I'm going to be talking about how to maintain a lead after getting a significant or slight advantage. So, you know, I think it's a pretty worthy topic of choice, um, considering that a lot of top players, you know, will do this, you know, and it especially helps like lower level gameplay because how many like times have you been in a situation where you're like, oh, well, I killed like 20 fucking drones and I want to kill, like, I, I just want to kill him. I just want to win the game. I want to get my ladder points. I want to move up to, to silver. I want to, you know, brag on Facebook and all that. But, you know, you, you, there's a lot of times where you just can't do that. So this is, uh, I think this is a great game example. It's going to show uh, on both sides just how to not, like, push your lead too much like you know if you have a lead you have to th th there's a way to carry it out and I think it is a great example so I'm going to be the Terran player on the bottom right um and my Zerg enemy is going to be Mardil blue Zerg top left uh, I think this is backwater gul gulch uh, um basically I don't think this map is used anymore I think it's uh taken off the ladder pool it's it's a really imbalanced map, so I mean, I, I don't really like it. So, I'm um, everything seems to be starting off normal in my base. I'm going for uh, 12 rags, 10 depot, nothing too special. So let's see what the Zerg player. It looks like he's probably going for a 15 hatch. So this is not so much of a game analysis, but it, it's so much to point out the mistakes of the leads and when they were lost. So I. I I'm going to be going back and forth through the units lost tab. So I, I'm going for a 12-14 racks. I, I like 12-14. It gives a nice early pressure. Especially for, uh, there's a lot of Zerg players that'll do like, they'll do like early, early spines, but they won't make any lings. They'll make like the bare minimum and then they'll power drone as hard as possible. So what'll happen is like, you know, like they'll, they'll have two spines and you'll have this big marine force and you just walk in and kill them. Or you kill as many drones as possible or whatever. So this is kind of like the force links, force pressure. So you kind of feel like, oh, you know, I'm scared. It, very basic build. It, it's, uh, it's the economical version. I didn't notice I didn't go for like 11-11 or 11-12. It's not a bunker rush. It's, it's just the pressure expands. So it's very normal. So seems our Zerg opponent went for a 14 pull, 13 extractor. Probably gonna get the gas up to 100 with very long speed. You know, nothing too out of the ordinary. Over here, I take off the uh, the drone scout. Let's see Zerg's vision. So if you look right now, he has no idea. All he, all he saw was two Marines. So and there were the two standard Marines. So that means that he has no idea if I'm two raxing, no idea if I'm going banshee. So right now, like you're probably gonna see a little bit of a a response like he needs to scout there's no overlord in sight so he needs to really get up in there and I, I keep the two marines out here because uh... it's easy to deal with links coming by like for example a lot of Zergs will send four two links whatever one link usually so like it, it's a great way to stop him so uh... just pumping out marines you know trying to keep the macro going no drone transfer yet but the four links out so you can tell he's a little on edge a little uh... like he's not too sure what's going on so Queen coming out. Um, this poor SCV is gonna sadly die. Zergling hit the tower. Did uh, Zergling speed? Yeah, Zergling speed is halfway done. No drone transfer, but you know if you look at the production tab, yeah, he's, he's droning up. So let's see if uh, he's gonna see anything on the Zergling cam. He sees two Marines. Starts shooting away at them. And then uh, a little bit of a mistake by by me. I moved out a little bit too early with my force. So he saw SAV, saw a good amount of Marines. So immediately making uh, six Zerglings, Spine Crawler, two Spine Crawlers. So I, I like this because it's not like overkill on the Zerglings. He's even uh, he's e he's even uh, spreading creep during all this. Sorry about my uh, misplaced cam. So yeah, it's it's looking pretty good so far. So like th this right here. This is enough. Like he, he doesn't need too much more. Um, as you see right, I'm just kind of poking back and forth. Like I'm not committing to this. Battle, so over here, he sends his out. It's kind of a big mistake. I didn't need too much, and I killed a lot of links. Not I. I don't really don't like. For example, if he kept his links right here behind the spines, I I couldn't have attacked into that. So he would have been forced to just sit there and he could have drone behind that. He could have probably gotten in two rounds by now. If you look over here at the production tab, Roach Warren almost done. I, I think it's uh, just a response like, you know, 
early pressure of Roach. I'm not too sure about that. I, like, it's, it's pretty good against the Marines, but he has seven Roaches out to deal with this, and, like, you know, I'm forced back, so. Kill the Queen up there. And if you look back at my base, expansion going up finally. Pumping out Marine, trying to deal with this. Macro's a little slipping, but, you know, nothing too big. You know, I, I did a lot of good pressure, so. If you pause right now, I'm moving back. But, let's see how much damage I did. That's a that's a fair lead. Like that's I I caused spines. I caused some links to come out. I killed a good amount. Killed the queen. So that that's a pretty good way to start the game off. It's a seven minute mark. I think most Terrans would would head back home, and this is kind of like where the mid game plan would start to begin. Be like, all right, well, what do I want? Do I want to go mass marines, mech? uh mass banshee like anything like you know this is kind of like the brainstorming i got a nice little supply lead you know like this is kind of like where everything begins so let's see what happens from here so i'm moving back over here and yeah like he's sending zerglings out he's you know he's, he's trying to see what what's gonna happen with me and if you look over here i think yeah like he still has a roach war and didn't really produce anything out of it and yeah he's just gonna be Scouting around, like scouting around, seeing what's going on. So nothing too special going on. And then oh, look at the production tab. We got three roaches coming out. And if you look over here, I got a uh, yeah, two more racks added on. Engineering bay got double gases. So I'm going more marine heavy right now. So I I, I got the expansion now. And now I'm gonna start macro level store. I don't know why I got two early refineries. I wasn't too sure of my game plan back then. This is a pretty old replay, so um Alright, this is this is a huge mistake. Alright. After early pressure like that Going back out with the same general amount of marines, just a little bit more, at the nine minute mark, don't do that. Just just don't do that. Because alright, one if you look at my vision, I don't know what's going on. As far as I'm concerned, like, you know, like, it could be mass meter. It could be mass link. He could have, you know, 1,200 roaches here. I wouldn't know. But I had the balls to really, like, look, look at this. All right, so I'm pushing out, and ready. I'm just moving All out, and I, I just have these huge amount of balls. I have a lead, though, but, uh... SCB pushing out, ready. taking the tower, right? So he good. sees me. He knows this is coming. If you look Additional at the production tab. Alright, so if you look over here, he's already been making stuff for a while. He's making a lot of roaches. And, well, roaches against marines, and it, depending on the numbers, marines, like, especially without stem or upgrades, you know, roaches early game are just really solid. So, look over here. I still, like, I don't see this. I'm like, all right, free creep zoomer. I'm cool with that. So I'm moving over here. I'm like, oh, oh, two roaches. That's that's bitch. Like I'm gonna fuck this up. And then, oh shit, like, this is a lot. So these marines are dead, as far as I'm concerned. So look at my immediate response. Like so, all that shit's dead immediately. Two emergency bunkers. Like oh shit. Like I just lost my whole SCB army. Ready. You know, emergency bunkers. Like all right. So you could tell right now. I lost my little bit of early advantage because I was greedy and I decided to push out without any prior knowledge not even a scan because I have balls of steel so that's one way to lose a lead so you don't wanna like like if you have a small lead carry it out macro get a mid game plan see what your opponents doing and then respond accordingly you don't have to you know you, you, you don't have to keep pushing it like you, you know a small lead still carries over just as well as you know a huge lead you know like a, at the end of the by the time you hit mid game things kind of even out a little bit more but you, you know like i there was no reason for me to push out obviously so right now i'm in deep shit because it, it's looking like yeah if you look at the zerg base it's a it's a roach mainling all in at this point so if you look at the units tab yeah, he, he cut drone production at 27 drones. This is not looking good. So, all this sh all this shit coming over here. I only have Marines. Factory just starting. No upgrade yet. Starport coming out. Um, I'm kind of in panic mode. This is, this is panic mode. Oh my god, a lot of banelings. Just, it, it's just not looking good. So, um, would I, would I have hold, held this off? Sorry. <laughs> would I have held this off 
if I had my original Marine Force, well, probably, yeah, like, there's a good chance I would have easily held this off, especially if I scouted it. If I scanned and saw this, and then put bunkers up and, you know, had, you know, whatever, so, looking at the battle right here, he's gonna fuck me up. This is terrible. So, I'm getting rich, so, oh, I'm getting destroyed. He's losing everything. Oh, oh, my SUVs. So, this is... This is pretty bad. I think most Terran players at this point would have been like, Alright, I'm leaving. I lost. Like, GG. So, let's see where he goes and let's we'll see what I do. So, alright, let's up the natural. He, uh, I think one of the key mistakes was he used the banelings on the SAVs, but he's going for a fairly all-in build. I would have liked to see like he brought those bailings over here, killed the depot, and then went for my production. Because if he can halt my production, GG, I'm out. Like, that's that's a clear win. But uh, since he couldn't get up there, I was able to produce stuff in time, and that's it. Like, he couldn't get to it because I have a little wall. So, you're looking right here. And yeah, like, you can approaches are gone. He's gonna repair the depot. Got a baller ass tank. Look at this thing. Three kills. Wasn't even trying. Wasn't even sieged. You know, I, I don't think siege mode was done actually. So, if you look at the if you look at the units lost tab, he has a huge lead. This is this is a great way to hit the 12 minute mark. So I'm gonna go over a couple of options as a Zerg player of what you should do in this situation. So let's go through it. One drone. Eight rounds of drone, it, like drone crazy. I, I'm on the back foot. Anyone on the back foot like this, you can't move out. I can't move out and kill you with four marines and a tank. I can't do it. It's I impossible. I'm not mining out of my natural. Zerg is. Zerg could easily take this third or take the gold. You could do anything at this point. Um, Lair tech. Keep up on your tech. You want to get lair, evo chambers, get your plus ones done, you know, etc. So, um, like, as you see right here, um, our Zerg player, he, he's continuing to reinforce the attack. Um, unless it's a guaranteed win and you know it, it's not really that worth it because, um, to, 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 excuse me, <laughs> to solidify your lead. I think the best option is Zerg, especially with an early pressure, like, with, with an early all-in like this, and taking out my natural, and reducing, like, killing a lot of SCBs and stuff like this, reducing my supply, look, if you look at the supply count, I'm cut in half compared to him. Uh, a great response to this would be Mutas. Mutas, control the map, control drop play, scout, see what I'm up to, see if I want to go Banshee or whatever, like, you know, it, it, it's a great way to scout what I'm doing. It's a great way to guarantee your third. Um, and it's a great way to deny your uh, enemy third and like a natural. So it, I, I think a muta, like if he went to lair tech during all of this and, and started getting mutas out, I think it would have easily solidified the win. So I'm going to start the game. And if you look at my response over here, I'm going to build a bunker. And if you notice, I started my upgrades, right? So I'm starting upgrades right now. And you. Alright, I think it was QXC that once said this. Upgrades are so key when you're far behind. Because upgrades carry all game out, like, carry the game out long. And if your opponent's constantly attacking like this, if your opponent's all in like this, what's the one thing he's not going to be prepared for? Upgraded Marines with plus one, plus one. The, the, you know, it, it's, it's going to affect, it's going to affect everything. So if you look right here, breaks this down. I'm barely holding. Got the rope. The rope's gonna come up. They're gonna kill this thing. This is tank is ten fucking kills. All right, so bunker left. Uh, you can see my SCPs. They're like, shoot, get out, get out, get out of here. Like, just like, get out of my base. So, SCPs try to keep the roaches out. Not trying to sacrifice my SCPs. I just want them out. I don't care where they go. I just don't want them here. So if you look, I got the two medevacs out. And I think the great response to this kind of early pressure is he's not gonna have a defense at home. It, it, uh, it's like this is going through my mind all of this he's not gonna have a defense at home and there's a good chance he's gonna attack again so what am I gonna do I'm gonna do a drop play so at this moment rebuilding supply depot bump uh, bunker over here tanks 
I got my plus one done, which is going to make a huge difference in every battle that you have the upgrade advantage. You know, even e even if I'm at a complete disadvantage, the upgrade dis difference is making, you know, it, it, it's making it more in my favor, little by little. So if you look at the units lost tab, that was part two of the attack, right? He's behind again. As far as the resource count go, he, he, instead of having that big lead that he had when he busted open my natural, he is actually a little bit more behind now than he was before. So right now the game, I want to say it's a little bit in his favor, but almost even. Because if you look, you know, he has a little bit more droning behind this, but like he, he's committing more to this attack. And he has a base up on me. But it's, it's, it's leaning more towards even. And with the upgrade advantage, it's going to be a little bit more in my favor as time goes on because upgrades it, it's one of those time things it's like you know over time with the upgrades my marines are just stronger they're gonna get stronger overall so gonna start the game and if you look like uh still not droning he he's going for another attack and i think this is where most players are are just greedy with the like they're like spoiled rotten children it's like they want attack and great reaction time by me i see that shit i'm like Oh, why is he attacking again? Because I think anyone in the right man would have grown up and, get, you know, do something else. So he's going for part three of the attack. I got two tanks spread out. You know, I'm like, I'm like, you know, what the fuck? Like, why is he attacking again? So if you look over here during the attack, I have a drop going out. And yeah, he seems to be pushing out. Struts up the people again. And now I'm moving out the tanks doing huge amounts of damage. 13 kills, 9 kills. The Marines over here doing work, and if you look over here, my drop cleaned up his natural. Like, that's huge. That's huge for me. So, now I'm moving over here. We got two queens picking up the meta back, which is annoying as well. I, I clean this up. He kills, like, I think a couple of SCDs. He looks over here, so, kills the drop. Kill a queen. He's trying to do as much damage as possible. It, it's right now, I know I have the advantage. Right now. This, is, this is great news for me. A drop doing that much damage. That's, that's, you know, a godsend. Like, you know, like right now I feel pretty fucking good. Oh, fucking, yeah. So if you look at the unit tab, the units lost tab, I'm ahead. I'm ahead again. Like, this is great for me. This is like, oh shit, like, I, I needed this. Like, this is what, like, I needed to get back into the game. Like, his third attack, instead of helping him, hindered him, put him way behind, and now he lost a whole mess of drones and etc so this is like one of your prime examples of you know wasting a lead and that's it like that that is one of the most basic examples because he had a huge lead huge lead over me and he absolutely just blew it so you're gonna look right over here going out for another drop because he doesn't have mutas out i can abuse the fuck out of like everything with this map because this map is imba's fuck for Terran. look at this shit who the fuck puts these crack look like like look at this natural look at that crack right there it's fucking disgusting so i can abuse the fuck out of this map and look more roaches going for part four of the attack there's no way yeah like you know i got tanks coming out the plus one armor is about to be done if you look still zero zero during all this time that's why upgrades are so important so he's got four roaches over here, just like, I think they're just disobeying. So I'm like, oh cool, free roaches. And all of a sudden, I see these roaches, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Like, so I, I'm attacking over here. Uh, I can't do any words. Uh, I have to lift up the natural, which is fine. So, it was a, it was a little, I, I think it was a, a pretty decent attack because I was completely unsuspecting. Because I was like, there's no way this guy's gonna attack for a fourth time. So he delays my natural a little bit more, but at the cost of roaches, which is gas to minerals, and I lost like like three or four SCVs there, which is okay. Like it wasn't too bad because I know he has to make army now instead of drones. It's it's whatever. Like so, it's not too bad of a trade off by him, but it, he he didn't need to do that. So look up the natural. You look over here, the drops going through. So still, if you look at he just at the 17 minute mark, if you're just starting your lair, there's a problem. And if you look, no Evo Chamber in sight, right? So, Zerg plays needs to drop. Over here, moves back the roaches. Natural lifted up. And, oh no, alright, alright. How many drones do you think this Zerg player is going to lose? Like, just, just think. Alright, he has 38 drones, right? How many drones can he lose to a couple Marines and a Medivac and Medivac healing? Well, this is a common mistake I see in all the Zerg players. 
even top level pros like they'll they'll be like oh well it it you know it's it's just a medevac with marine stems like how many drones could he kill well I'll I'll fucking tell you how many drones I'm gonna kill so the drones uh, they like fucking retarded look at the look, look right here look, look at that shit are you serious. Oh my, and, and, and right there, like, I'm speechless because I literally killed, I, where's the fucking tab to show control R? Oh, I literally killed so many workers, like, that's ridiculous, like, wow, like, that's, that's crazy, like, so, I, I'm, I'm stunned. So he went from like 39 drones to like 20 workers. So, so that's that's why you don't do that. Shit, like, because you're gonna lose all your shit. Like that's I'm just keeping it real. Like you guys may say like drops or imbo or whatever. Just don't fucking do that. Like have links. Like be smart. Don't don't push out and attack full fucking times. Like you know like you have to be cost effective here. And I think that's the word a lot of like people don't realize. Marines cost effective. Spamming roaches to get killed at tanks. It's not cost effective, so it, it, it's kind of like you have to do like the mental math. Like if I'm losing, you know, fucking 75 mineral, th like 35 gas roaches to marines that are 50 minerals, like you know, is that cost effective? Of course not. So. All right, so it seems like he's going for another aggressive attack. And, oh look, he was nice enough to try to take down the rock stream. That's great, but if you look right here, if he attacks again. He's gonna lose the engagement. I, you can't dent this anymore. This is not like something you can throw roaches at anymore. So, pretty crazy game so far. So, if we look at the units lost tab, monumentally, like, alright. From going, from him being pretty far ahead to now him being monumentally behind, you know, like, that. that's losing a lead in every sense of the word. Like, you, you lost. A huge lead and now you are in a big fucking hole with a dick in your face like this is terrible so how could he win from here and I, I, I like the response he goes for if you look over here he gets Banelink speed he's gonna go layer tech right still no Evo chamber no upgrades and I like this infestation pit instead of uh, spire because a lot of Zerg players don't realize especially against marine heavy play but just anything in general infestors on the defensive when you are behind is good I don't care what anyone says infestors when you are behind as Zerg is good they they cost energy they don't cost like like t besides the initial infester to use the abilities cost energy fungal growth a good pack of Marines twice they're dead they're unless they have like a medevac for each one they're fucking dead you know like you fungal growth my army a couple times it's weakened dead and you can surround and kill so I I really like this response infestors when you're behind so that I, like that's really good so he's uh he's pushing out I, I mean I'm pushing out Ugh. so if you look right here I move my main to my third um I do that because one I I want to go into macro mode. I, I, I don't have the minerals right now to get a third. However, I'm almost mined out because I've been stuck in my main so long. All I have is gas. I have a lot of gas left. So my reasoning behind it is I'm going to take my third for mostly minerals. That way, just in case, let's say it gets taken out, I can move my main back to, uh, uh, I can move the third back to the main to take the gas at least. So if you look at this engagement right here, he gets crushed. And, and if you look, I didn't change my tanks or anything. My tanks, my marines did most of the damage because if you look at the upgrade, I, I have one one against his zero zero. And yeah, that, that's that's primarily why I won that engagement. I have an upgrade advantage, and I think that's where uh, a lot of players don't realize when like if you're behind, you need to keep up on upgrades. So as time goes on, you know, like if it's plus two marines. Or plus one marines against zero zero zerg units. You know, zerg units suck in general as it is. To even be behind on upgrades, you're just gonna suck even more. So I do a drop over here, get kind of crushed. Move back over here. Third going up, get the, the, the turrets over here just in case meter play. Like I, I wanna be precautious because right now I have a huge lead. I know this. 
So I want to I want to win. This is this is how you want to carry out your lead. You want to macro behind it, create small leads, deny when you can, recognize your battles, and take opportunities. So, you know, this is good. He because uh, I realize he doesn't have air, so I'm doing a little bit of drop harass. Look over here, like he's forced because of my presence. He knows I have a bigger army than his. He instead of making drones, he has to make army. So or else he's gonna get crushed. So right now. I really like this response. He has to take a third, right? So, he takes a secret third. And I like this because, like, like if I don't scout this, this this is going to catch him up, right? So, infestors, secret third. Good, when you're behind. Like, you know, like especially if I'm to, if the, if the Terran or Protoss player is denying your third, that's good. So, and look at right here. All right. Um, I don't think you guys saw that, so... I'm just gonna go over it really quick. I was moving out. He saw this. He fungal growth me, and I wasn't prepared with it with siege tank fire. Look at my marine's health. So this is why infestors are good. You can't just openly bum rush into infestors because this, like, like this will happen. You're just gonna lose all your shit. So, like, this is this is why infestors are just really solid. So, Look, cleaning up. All right, so I, I have to take it. I have to take my time. And I think this just goes with like, you know, me macroing. Out. I have to take my time. I have to macro up a storm. Get my. I'm getting a fourth factory. I'm trying to keep up on upgrade. Well, actually, no, I'm not because I'm bad. Oh yeah, I'm gas starved right now because if you notice, I forgot to put guys on gas. Newbie mistake. The only play. I have legit Johns or excuses, whatever you want to call it. So. Um, yeah, like, look over here, do another drop play, drops, drops when Zerg doesn't have air control are good, you know, generally good depending on how you manage stuff, you have to make the drop cost efficient, if you can kill Ling, a, a drone or two, or maybe like a queen, that's a, that's a well, that's, that's a great drop, so, um, for any Terran players that want to deal with infestors while pushing up without having ghosts, what you want to do is move up tank first, Marines behind. You spread out your marines. Like, you know, pretty you wanna spread it out pretty well. So if you look over here, I'm just gonna get my second factory, yeah, moving out the fourth. You know, I'm getting the army over here. Moving out a small pack of marines. I'm just moving up slowly. I if you look look at the Zerg vision, I'm keeping my presence. He knows I have shit here, so he has to make look, he has to make that. Because if I decide to just move out, he he's fucked. So instead of making drones right now, he has to make army. So pretty, you know, how to keep Zerg in check. So I I like this right now because I'm keeping his face. I want him to engage. I want him to attack. Him. So it looks like it's a pretty even battle. He has Baneling, whatever. It, uh, Funky Wolf does wonders. Uh, look, look at that shit. It's killing everything. And just barely, right? Just barely. Just barely I win, right? So, uh, the third over here isn't, hasn't, no drones yet. Just barely I win, but since I have the macro advantage, siege tanks, marines over here, like, I have a whole army ready for him again right over here so this is kind of like the lead i'm talking about like you know like i want him to be behind i, I don't want him to make drones i want to keep my lead and this is how you do it like you you want to take bases harass you know keep in his face you don't want him making drones this is how you keep good to check and you know it, it goes different for each matchup so like i'm just going kind of like this how you do it so i see this with the drop because i set my marine over here so I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna, you know, go over here. I, I try to take these drones, but not really. Good. Kill one drone, it's cool. So I think more players need to do this. Take a piece of your army, and let's say, all right, so like right here, you have your shit here, right? You take a piece of your shit, and you throw it at the expansion to kill it, right? What this does is, let's say he has a whole army right here. Zerg is kind of the race they want you out of position they want you to be focused on something and then they come in and then they fucking ruin your day and you're kind of sad and they and they kill everything and then they make fun of you and then they go on the forums and say Terran's imbalanced even though they won so that's Zerg 
So what they do is, they see you attack with your whole army the expansion, and they're like, fuck that, I'm gonna kill that, right? So, what'll happen is, they, they'll come over here, and they'll catch you out, and they'll, they'll kill you. So what this does is, they cr it creates like a soft little it, glove, I wanna call it, because what happens is, they run into this, and they run into siege tanks, just psh, psh, and, they, and it fucks up all your shit, right? And Zerg players are like, oh shit, and they realize they they have to let the expansion go. And I think that's a great, like, kind of, like, glove. Because if they run into that, even if they kill it, they lose a lot of shit. And at the same time, you still kill this. So it, it's kind of like a win-win, because he has to remake his army, and he has to make an expansion again. It, 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 so it's, it's a it's a lose-lose for the Zerg. So, continuing this. Um, Zerg kind of like, uh, like doing something special that you don't do it for all your sessions, that's bad, you know, you have to do shit, so, he's gonna lose this. If you look over here at Camp Zerg, uh, Evo Chamber, finally, right? Still, no upgrades, you know, gotta keep up, like, I I'm starting plus two very late, but it's been a crazy game, so forgive me, you know, my macros also got a little bit to shit, so, it's a crazy game, it's just like, you know, all that shit's going on, you know, forgive my, my noob. So, you know, it's making shit, getting a PF over here, kill this, like I said, small, small little force of shit over here, I got, I got most of the shit over here, so it's just like general tactics, he's going for a lane counterattack over here if you will, and yeah, like, you know, I, I have the macro of kings against him, so I got shit over here, like he, he's not gonna be able to counterattack this, so, you know, right now, if you look, it's pretty over. It's pretty much over. The lead, it, it gets to a point in StarCraft 2 where you have such a huge lead, it doesn't fucking matter anymore. You're just behind. You just lose. Like, you just GG out. That's why most people will be like, just fucking leave. You lost. Even if it doesn't look like it, like, there's a, there, it hits a certain threshold where it's like, just leave, guy. Like, you fucking, you're dead. So it, it's just inevitable. So this is kind of like one of those things where I have such a huge lead now. He hasn't taken a third and it's the 28 minute mark, just leave. Just get out of the game, so. Alright, so this is kind of like his last resort. He needs this, right? He needs to counterattack. I think this is a great response. Whenever you're behind like this, you want to hit production. You don't want to hit, like, expansion anymore, because I, I, you know, I got a fourth, you know, I got a fifth. He needs to kind of, like, guarantee the lead. So, I, I like this because my drop sees it, like, it, it, it just barely sees it, right? And I immediately, I'm like, Oh shit, and I immediately siege up, right? And I'm like this, I'm like, oh shit, I've run the marines away, target by the base, kill everything, and GG. So, I think that's a, that's a really good way on how to keep your lead, and just kind of like, you know, build your advantage up. And I think that's very important that everyone should at least see, you know, a and learn, so... That is my shitty video. Hopefully the quality is a little bit better. I learned uh, a lot since my ver my first video. So the quality is only going to get better. And hopefully you guys enjoy this replay. And thank you for watching. Fuck.